What's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this motion tracking effect inside of Final Cut Pro. For this effect you don't need any plugins, it's all inside of Final Cut Pro. With their latest update they added a new effect where you can just motion track any type of video you have by just drag and dropping it onto your clip. First off what we're going to do is grab our clip that we want to use and uh, motion track. So I'll grab this wakeboarding clip and bring it into the timeline and just cut it here. This is already slowed down to like 96 frames. So I'm just gonna keep it at that frame rate. For this first example, I'm gonna show you how to motion track text. So I'll grab this custom uh, text and bring it over the video. And you can see that it starts to identify the person here. So I can bring it on the face, the body, anywhere. I'll just put it right here. And as you can see, it brings up this like little uh, box that is basically your tracker so you can move it anywhere you want but I'll leave it where it's at this can just round out your tracking and then these little uh, circles can make the tracking bigger or smaller but I'll just keep it around that size and right here is your text and you can obviously change this to whatever you want I'll just keep it title for this video um, I'm just gonna bring it somewhere around here maybe on top of his head and then you can go back over to your timeline and make this text go all the way to the end of your clip so to start to end and once you have your text where you want it to be at you can hit analyze and this is literally just analyzing it real time I'm not speeding up or anything and it's already done like I literally didn't even have to do anything and there we go. It's actually pretty good for how fast it is. I think they'll uh, probably improve the tracking and everything with future updates, but I think it did a pretty good job. You can also change the um, tracking like parameters, so like the scale, rotation, position. I'm just going to keep the position and rotation on for this clip. As I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you can change the text here, so I'll just do like test and it will already be tracked, you don't have to retrack it or anything. You can also move your text around to any part of the clip. So I can move it on the left side of his head and it'll stay tracked to the left side. I can move it to the right side and it'll stay there. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did earlier with the text, but with the generators. So I'll go into textures and just grab this paper right here and I'll put it onto his face again and it's super scaled up so I'm gonna scale that down like that All right, and then I'm just gonna hit analyze again and the paper should be tracked just like that Alright, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I could do a more advanced tutorial in the future on the motion tracking side of Final Cut, but I think this is a pretty simple breakdown of basically the basics that you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video, and make sure to subscribe and like the video, and peace out.